How are we going to plot these irrational numbers on a number line? Find out in this video. Good day learners! Today we are going to discuss how to plot irrational numbers on a number line. So I have here a number line. So when we say a number line, it is a horizontal line in which it is composed of uh, units that are equidistant from each other. So ngayon, magpo-focus lang tayo dun sa mga positive na mga units. Kasi nga, yung ibibigay natin na example ay mga square root na kung saan yung principal roots nila ay positive. Okay. So ang pinakauna natin gagawin para ma-estimate natin kung saan yung position ng bawat uh, irrational numbers natin, kailangan muna nating uh, isulat yung mga perfect squares from 1 and so on. So kung mapapansin natin sa baba, we have here our units 1, 2, 3, 4, hanggang 12. Okay. So ilalagay natin yung corresponding na perfect square sa taas nila. Okay. Although hindi siya part ng number line, pero magiging guide natin siya para mas lalo nating ma uh, mas lalong mapadali yung pag-plot natin sa mga points na ibibigay. So yung sa 1, ang 1 is we all know that is the answer for the square root of 1. So yung pinakauna pinakauna nating perfect square would be 1. Then we also have 4 or square root of 4 square root of 9 square root of 16. So, ito yung first four na perfect squares natin. So, pag sinabi natin perfect square, those are numbers na kung saan yung uh, square root nila ay integers. Okay? So, positive integers. So, we have here, next would be square root of 25. So, square root ng 25 is of course 5. So, ilalagay natin sila magka-align. Then, we have square root of 36, square root of 49, square root of 64, square root of 81, square root of uh, 100, square root of 121, and lastly, we have square root of 144. So, bakit ba natin nilagay yung mga perfect square sa taas. Kasi nga, we would like to have close to perfect na sagot sa pagplat natin ng mga points na ito. So, let us say we have square root of 13. Now, we don't have calculators. We cannot compute for the root of square root of 13. So, what we're going to do, titignan natin kung saan uh, perfect square siya mas malapit. Okay. So, alam natin na yung 13 na number, yung numerical value niya, Again, hindi yung value ng square root, pero yung 13 mismo na number, yung 13 ay malapit sa 16. Okay? So, I'm not referring to the square root, but yung numerical value lang nila. So, yung 13 is malapit sa 16, kaya ilalagay natin yung square root of 13 uh, dito banda, malapit sa 4. Okay? So, dito would be yung point na square root of 13. Okay? Next, how about square root of 90? So, saang dalawa, ano yung dalawang perfect square na napapagitaan si square root of 90? So, that would be square root of 81 and 100. So, ngayon, you are going to analyze yung numerical value na 90. Yung 90 ba mas malapit kay 100 or mas malapit kay 81? So, yung 81 would be 9 steps away or 9 uh, units away from 90, right? Tapos yung 90 naman, you have 10 numerical values from uh, 100. So, mas malapit siya kay 81. Pero, nandun na siya sa bandang gitna ng, alos nasa gitna na ng 81 at saka 100. Or, nasa gitna na ng 9 at 10. So, ilalagay natin si square root of 90 dito banda. Almost nasa half ng 9 at saka 10. So, we will have here square root of 90. Pasensya nyo lang, mas uh, medyo maliit yung uh, writings natin. Next would be square root of 65. So, yung 65 ay napapagitnaan ng dalawang perfect squares na 64 and 81. And of course, mas malapit siya kay 
64. Isang uh, number na lang para maabot yung 65. So, yung square root of 65, ilalagay natin dito halos magkadikit na sa 8. Okay? So, we're going to write here square root of 65. Okay, next. We have square root of 137. So, yung 137 ay nasa gitna ni 121 and 144. So, saan siya mas malapit? Okay? Mas malapit siya kay 144. So, ilalagay lang natin siya dito, banda. So, ganito lang yun ka simple ang pagplat ng mga irrational numbers. Yung mga square root lang tayo naka-focus. Okay. Then, next, we have square root of 43. So, square root of 43 ay nasa gitna ng perfect squares na 36 at 49. And, mas malapit siya kay uh, mas malapit siya kay 49 compared to 36. Pero nandoon na siya sa midway na 6 at saka 7. So we're going to place here square root of 43. And lastly we have square root of 3. So nasa gitna siya ng square root of 1 at saka square root of 4. And mas malapit siya sa square root of 4 kaya ilalagay natin yung square root of 3 mas malapit sa 2 na units. Okay, so we're going to write here or plot square root of 3. Now, since this is just an estimation, so hindi talaga ito yung exact na position ng mga square roots na binigay. Pero halos uh, close na siya dun sa tama na position. So let us say we have the square root of 13. So, if we're going to get the value of the square root of 13 up to two decimal places, that would be approximately 3.61. So, kung titignan natin yung square root of 13 ay nilagay natin dito almost midway na ng 3 at saka 4. So, kung titignan natin halos tama yung, <clears throat> so, kung titignan natin tama yung sagot natin or tama yung pagkakaposisyon natin ng square root of 13 sa number line. And you're going to check also square root of three. That would be approximately. That would be one point seventy three. So, mas malapit siya kay two compared to one. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.